Hello everyone, a warm welcome to Metrofile on Channels Television. Well, the week started with so much tension, protest and all that as a result of the removal of fuel subsidy by the government. Well, we'll take our minds off the problem of the removal and bring some fun and laughter to your faces. So, on the program this week, we have just the right content to calm those nerves, at least for now. So, relax and let's have fun together. And we'll get to course. But it's a dream come true for Abiyua, Nusa Igebo, and Christian Ifai Onyeka as they begin a new phase in their lives as husband and wife. Elder Mrs. Olushola Odesonya, mother of the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Funshan Amosu, clocked 70 recently and the day was marked in a grand style. The Ashiru brothers, Foreign Affairs Minister Ambassador Olubenga Ashiru and Otumba Bimbola Ashiru, the Ogu State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, were given a pat on the back recently. A day that will remain memorable in the lives of those two lovebirds, Abeyuwa Nusa Igebo and Ifanyi Onyeka. They have both in the presence of God and man resolved to spend the rest of their lives together till death do them part. It took place at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Maryland, in Lagos. On the break of this day, saw two families, the Nusa Igiebo and Onyeka, coming together to join their children in holy matrimony at the redeemed Christian Church of God, Maryland, Lagos. Friends and well-wishers of both families came to share in their joy as Abiyewa and Ifain take these vows. Which is the word of God? I marry you. I surrender. Myself, myself to you in sacrifice, and I will bless you with all my possessions in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is no doubt a day of joy for the families, and their well wishes sure came to be a witness to this special day. The minister in charge emphasized on the need for love in their marriage. Here I God is also being in demand upon the life of my brother. He said, Love your wife. As Christ loved the church. The Bible does not say love your wife. The Bible did not stop there. It said, As Christ loved the church. After the sermon, it was time to sign the marriage register. And that was followed by a dance in Thanksgiving. And the latest couple, both in their early 30s, are presented to the congregation.
and it's settled. They are now one in holy union. them not to forget the love that made them to join together. I wish them to run the affairs of their marriage in fairness support so that they will build a better home. My prayer is that uh, all they ask for, God will grant it uh, in Jesus' name. First of all, I pray God to always be with them, guide them through everything they do. And let them come out a successful couple, you know, faithful children, faithful to God, and be a nation on their own. This marriage is going to be blessed. I'm so confident of that. And today is a really happy day in the Gabor family. It's not only a, my three P's actually, he's a priest, he's a protector, and a provider. So that fits into my three P's, and I'm very fine. And check now, how bad. The guy is great. He's not only stood, handsomely good looking, yeah. He's also a brain. Trust me, he's a bag of ideas. Actually, when when the year started, part of my goals was to get married before the end of 2011. But the woman was not there. You know, but I did set the goal. So when she finally came, I was proud of, of, of her saying a yes. I was proud of the fact that she's the one. And I am proud that today I can actually open my mouth and tell the world that this is my wife. Service over, all roads lead to the King's Place Event Center where the reception is held. As they settle down, shortly after, Mr. and Mrs. Onyeka dancing excitedly. They will now cut their cake and feed themselves in the presence of all these dignitaries. And that was followed by the first nuptial dance. Mr. and Mrs. Onyeka, they have indeed started a new phase in their lives. Now, Mrs. Olusola Odesonya, mother of the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Funsho Amusun, was overjoyed when she clocked 70 
the joy was visible in her face as she had her children, grandchildren, friends, as well as well wishes around her to mark the special day with her. And it took place in Ogun State. Enjoy. It's the 70th birthday of Mrs. Olushola Odesonya, mother of the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Funsho Amosu, as family, friends and well-wishers of the Odesonyas came to be a part of the celebration. This very special day started with hymns. The governor of the state, Ibikuni Amosu, and his wife were joined by members of his cabinet and other important dignitaries both within and outside the state. Some of them include Oba Adidapo Tejoshu and his Oloris, First Lady of Lagos State, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola, Senator Olurem Tinubu, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje, and a host of other very important personalities. That was immediately followed by prayers for the celebrant. Is it power? Is it understanding? In the name of Jesus, your head will not go down. Your head will not go down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every part of your body to be functioning right now in the name of Jesus. A whole lot of people have good things to say about Mrs. Odesonya, including her son-in-law, the governor of the state, Ibikule Amosu. He has always been a mom, not only to me, to all of us, all the children of us, all of the time. Even when my mom was alive, we are always seen together. Even my mom will ask me, mommy, come. To her. So I congratulate you. Grandma is so spiritual. She's so in touch with God. I feel like if I have a problem, I'm better off speaking through her than going directly. There's so many times that I'm upset or I'm unsure about things, and just speaking to her for a few minutes, I feel at peace. She has a very calming aura about her. Anytime I'm around her, I know that I don't need to be worried about anything. I know that I can call her. The celebrant also has something to say. On behalf of my children, I think God is glory. On behalf of all around here, I say thank you, God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. She will now cut her birthday cake.
led by children and grandchildren, the celebrant took to the dance floor. Now still in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, Foreign Affairs Minister Ambassador Olubenga Ashiru and his brother Otumba Bimbola Ashiru, who is the Ogun State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, were recently honored by the paramount ruler of Ijebu land, Obasikuru Kayode Aditona, in Ijebu de Ogun State, in a very, very colorful ceremony. <laughs> For the Ashirus of Ijebo de Ogun State, this day was a day of double honors as their sons, the Foreign Affairs Minister Ambassador Benga Ashiru and Otumba Bimbola Ashiru, Ogun State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, were honored by no less a person than the monarch of their town, Obasikuru Kayode Adetono. The Awujale's palace, where the event was held, came alive with gaily dressed men and women and very important personalities in the society as the monarch held a special luncheon for the brothers for doing the town proud. No doubt the Ashiru brothers have distinguished themselves irrespective of their political affiliations and Obasiku Aditono left no one in doubt that he is indeed happy with the achievements of the brothers. And the moment came. After the citation is read, comes the honors. Responding to the honors, the brothers thanked Oba Adetono and the Ijebu people for honoring them. They pledged to continue to lift Ijebu land and the country through public service. As it will happen, and I believe this is true of all Ijebu sons and daughters, that here is a KBC who will take keen interest. Asking 
after your welfare, after your progress. Can we see and my family when the people that um, gave me the go ahead to take this appointment? And I pray that we make a suffer for you. Thank you very much. I hope the last 30 minutes is worth every moment of it as we draw the curtain at this point. But you can send us an email on metrofile at channelstv.com. Follow us on Twitter at Ogechiku Osei. Till I come your way again next week, God willing, I'm Ogechiku Osei. Bye-bye.